Ah, this was media. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a movie um, because I've been very busy with some kind of stuff, which I'm not going into any deeper. Uh, let me take my uh, glasses. Um, and I've been in a well, small discussion, but uh, about a subject, which uh, the, the subject is has triggered me for a longer time, a period of time, and I thought about it. And but there, may, there are solutions. And the subject is uh, about the, the, the warming up of the, the, the planet due to um, the CO2 level. Well, um, personally, I don't think there's a problem. Um, on the other hand, uh, uh, yes, temperatures are rising. And if it's, uh, if it's, uh, it's due to the CO2 that the humankind is bringing into the atmosphere, well, there is a solution. There is, it's a pretty simple solution, actually. Uh, it takes a lot of work, but it's a simple solution. <laughs> and it's got only a, a kind of a, a very much advantages uh, in, in favor of it. The, uh, I, I, I was in a discussion with a guy, and I said, well, there's one about the CO2. It, it from, I think it was from uh, Penetasium, uh, from, from uh, the cycle. Um, well, the Veritasium guy, you know him. He, he talks about uh, the CO2 problem in, in, in uh, uh, 15 arguments, or uh, 13 or 15 arguments. And based on that, I, I commented him on his uh, Veritasium um, uh, side. And I, I, I've been thinking this over for, for quite some time, this problem. And if there is a, a serious a CO2 problem, then there is one easy solution actually and it is one uh, reforest the desert as much as possible and that sounds simple but but uh, uh, it takes a lot of effort uh, but there are big advantages and I make some no um, recommends on uh, on his uh, YouTube site and I will uh, take some uh, some of it in a moment I will uh, well, they turn deserts into forests and cutting, cut, stop cutting trees. I mean, especially the old forests, the ancient forests, stop cutting them as much as possible. Um, but replant them. And the thing is, um, or, do, or do the cutting in a, in a controlled manner with a lot of hand in hand with the reforestation. Uh, well, why is that reducing CO2? Well, it, it, plants obviously use CO2. Next to that, uh, if you are afraid of the water level rising of the, uh, the ocean, well, trees use water as well, about uh, 70 to 90, 80 percent, so 60 to, to, uh, to 80 percent or something like that, um, in mass. Um, it gives more space to animals and natural environments, so there's, there's another advantage. It cools the earth. Um, it gives us a recyclable amount of usable wood, so you can cut the wood in a controlled way and you reuse it uh, for, for goods to make it in closets, uh, furniture, uh, whatever kind of stuff. Um, it creates desertification. It gives off more oxygen uh, and it increases employment in uh, uh, deserted, uh, desertified areas of the world. Uh, and, and thus it gives an economical uh, boost to those countries. Um, it also gives us knowledge and insight of natural processes and how to manipulate them. I'm looking at uh, my screen, sorry, I, I get some text over there. It's easier for me to do it like this. Um, and you get, you get some knowledge, you get some signs of, of, of that. Uh, and uh, just just to name a few. Okay, how to do how to reforest a desert? Well, I got I, of course I've thought about that too. Um, in the first place, if if you have a desert, there, there's an edge. There, there, there must be a, there, there's a, a green part which is about to be desert desert part, and there is a, of course a desert. Well, on that edge you are going to operate if you want if you have money if you have time to do it. Start there. Well, in the first place, uh, buy a piece of land of desert, including green part, including uh, desert part. Um, the second thing is, 
you need to start small. So um, the second thing is dig a hole about two to four meters. Well, maybe preferably a little bit deeper. And let's say 10 by 10 meters to start with. Um, lay out on the, on the bottom of that, of that pit, of that, uh, that hole, a layer of clay about 30 to 50 centimeters thick. And make it uh, 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 smoothly. I mean, not, not lumps of uh, clay, but make it a layer, a, a one big layer, the sand with the feet or whatever kind of stuff. Um, so be, it becomes un hardly penetrable for water. So it, actually what you're doing is creating a big plant pot, actually. It, it's penetrable to, uh, for water, but still it holds some water nonetheless. And next to that, also roots can penetrate the clay if it's not yet getting too hard. And even, even then, uh, tree roots can penetrate the rock if, if it turns into rock over time. Uh, fill the hole again with um, uh, the same sand, about 20 to 40 percent of it, and mix it up with fertilizer. Not too much, but not too, too little as well. A lot of dead plant material, like, like, like uh, woods, uh, really wood, uh, branches and leaves from plants that were grown somewhere else. So, so grow plants somewhere else, chop them in pieces and mix them with the sand and, and mix it with clay and water and put them back in the big hole again. Okay, put plants, suitable plants that, that like that environment, etc. Uh, and trees, preferably also a lot of trees that grow fast, uh, uh, but young plants and trees uh, that grow, uh, thrive in that area and as soon as possible in that newly created artificial uh, uh, land. The, the, the clay uh, uh, make it, make it edge, uh, edge zone, and so you create a, a square pot where the water kind of remains in it or penetrate, uh, reduce. Um, penetrates very slowly to, to the rest of the ground. Because the main problem with, with replanting or reforcing is loss of nutrition, and you don't want that. Uh, because in, in a desert sand, it's just loose sand, and the water goes all the way down to, to deeper layering water reserves, and you lose the water and so it dries out. So you have to prevent that by putting clay in it. Um, and make it make edges on it. Um, well, mix the sand, the old, old sand, 20 to 40% of it, and mix it with, with uh, fertilizer, uh, uh, wood, uh, um, etc., and, uh, and leaves and branches and so on, and with clay and water. Clay holds the water very well, and also the nutrition it holds very well. So mix it very well and put it back in a big hole and plant, put as fast as possible plants in that 10 by 10. Uh, so uh, plants, but also trees. Trees that grow higher and protect the rest of it uh, for, for the direct sunlight, but also plants for if they die, they, they, they feed the ground. Um, but experiment with this uh, to, to use which plants in what area. I mean, uh, and don't be afraid to make mistakes, that's, that's okay. Uh, I mean, some plants do, do thrive better than other plants, so experiment a little bit with it. And uh, keep on feeding them with dead plant material from somewhere else. Uh, I mean, the, the, in Europe, the chop off, uh, I mean, leaves fall from, from, uh, from trees that are grown somewhere else in the country. Collect them and put them in, in, in there. So, fertilize it. Um, and it also holds uh, 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 um, water very well, but also other kinds. It, 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 it's good, very uh, good uh, uh, material. Um, and also add water. Yeah, which is logical. But the thing is, how to get water in a desert? It, I mean, it's a desert, not nothing, a desert. Uh, it's dry. Well, not entirely. Um, there is a lot of water vapor in the air, and you can get it out easily, especially in, in, in a, a sun-rich environment like desert. I mean, there's a lot of sun, so there's a lot of so solar power. Uh, if there is a lot of solar power, you can power uh, refrigerators. And if you can power refrigerators, you can uh, uh, refrigerate the water vapors in the air to solid water, which is named ice. Well, that ice you can use as water resource for the plants. Um, very simple. Huh? Um, well, 
if necessary, you can protect the plants with a cover, to, 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 especially if they're young and plant plants, so that they, they won't burn to, to, to have, have uh, to, to, to eat it. Um, well, that, that 10 by 10 square meters is finished. But don't stop there. The, ne the neighboring 10 meters, square meters, do the same process over and over again to the next 10 square meters, over again. So you, you are starting to grow. You're, you start with 10 by 10 meters, then the next, and the next, and the next, etc., and then uh, the next, the next. So you, you, you are growing your circle or area that is uh, uh, reforested. You have to do this in a very quick time of period, period of time. And so the bigger and the bigger it gets. Now, the thing is, and one thing is very important, if, if, and do this years after year. So you are starting to grow every uh, uh, 10 meters of, of forests, you, uh, artificial forests, and you expand, you, you expand. So you have to buy, in the first place, you have to buy a lot of land to start with. Uh, well, that is land I can. Uh, I don't think it's very, uh, very expensive. So, because it's desert, I mean, who wants to have it? Um, okay. And the thing is, one one thing is a, a key issue for a reforestation. Don't allow gaps in your artificial forest. The thing is, a, a forest is very well in, in capable to maintain itself because. Leaves fall off, branches fall off, dead animals fall, uh, uh, the plants die on the ground, and so the, there is a cycle. You create a cycle, a, a natural cycle of uh, nutrition. That's why also the clay layer plays a role because you don't want the water to sip, sip down to to underlying uh, uh, layers. That may eventually happen. So, but by then you hope that your forest is well big enough that uh, the, um, the forest nutrition. Have sipped into the ground so much that it, it's very well capable of uh, uh, maintaining itself. Once you uh, get a gap or, or, or areas are separated, then the forestation is easy. Uh, is easier getting in. So keep it as a as a, as a whole, uh, as as, as a one big forest that is growing and growing and growing. Don't allow gaps to uh, to get there. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, some other stuff. Well, the thing is, a forest is well capable of uh, restoring itself if, if, if things are happening. Um, well, unfortunately, uh, I, don't, I don't have enough money to do it myself. I cannot buy land so much uh, and I don't have the means, etc., to, to, to do this. But, uh, well, maybe the, some people like this idea and want to sponsor me in this area. Um, and it, it brings a lot of uh, employment for the local people over there, uh, so it, it's not, not uh, only good for, 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 uh, for me, but also for the local people and uh, so, so, and for, uh, yeah, that you maintain a, a thriving uh, economic system as well. Uh, and you may learn a lot, etc., etc., etc. And also you can grow uh, uh, vegetables so people get fed well, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so, but uh, on, the, on my um, uh, YouTube account, you, you can uh, contact me if you like this idea and uh, participate or whatever kind of thing or sponsor it, uh, etc. Okay, this is the idea that I want to share. Um, hope you like it and feel free to contact me. Okay, I'll talk about that. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.